In this lesson, we're going to do a really simple example where we're going to create a setup where this bone in the middle is always going to find the midpoint between these two targets here, no matter where you put them. Now, it only copies the midpoint of the locations. It doesn't copy the scales or the, uh, the rotations, but I'm going to issue you with a challenge at the end. Let's get started. Here I am inside a fresh scene and I'm ready to create what we saw in the intro there. So I'm going to select everything and delete it because we don't need it for this tutorial. Sorry guys, you're out of here. And now I'm going to add in my armature. So we're going to go Shift A, select armature and just choose a single bone. And I will turn on my bone name. So that will be under the viewport display in the armature tab. And just click on the names here so you can see the name of our bones. So for this one, we just need three bones and I'm going to just duplicate this one here. So shift D and drag it across and anywhere will do, but I'll just hold down control to snap it to um, our point over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So shift D and then drag it over here. So when I did that, there was actually no parenting um, that was created. So there is no parent on this bone no parent on this bone and no parent on this bone and that's what i want for for this example so now it's actually time to name our bones so i'm going to start with this guy here and he is going to be the one that's going to receive the constraints so i'm going to name him owner and then over here this is going to be our first target so let's hit f2 and call him target underscore zero one and over here this is going to be our second target target underscore zero two Okay, so now we add our constraints in pose mode. So I'm gonna jump down here. And let's just uh, bring up our, our constraints tab. So you can see it's empty at the moment. Now I wanna add the constraint to this guy. So we select our target first. Who wants a constraint? I do, Control Shift C. And for this one, I'm just gonna choose copy a location, but I'm gonna issue you with a challenge at the end of this tutorial. So that one is now added and you can see it's jumping over there. And that is because it's set to world space. And we're going to leave this at world space for this uh, example, but I am going to temporarily disable it. So now that we can see our bone is back in the middle here. And then we need to add the second constraint. So let's select the second target, shift select the owner, control shift C, and then choose copy location. So now it's snapping over here. And even if I enable this first constraint again, it's still snapping over here. Now, why is that? That is because of the constraint stack order it gets calculated from the top to the bottom. Now, the next thing I want to do is have this bone stay in, at the exact midpoint. And that is really easy to do. So I'm going to go down to our second constraint here. And I'm going to lower this one down to 0.5. And you'll notice that it's jumped to the middle. Even when I just drag any of these bones around, it's always going to stay in the middle. Now, why is that? Let me just switch over to a different screen. Here's just a little diagram of what's going on. Here is our owner bone in the middle. Now this first constraint is just a copy location constraint and it's going all the way over here at 100%. And then our second constraint is going from all the way over here to this position at 100%. And that's not what we want. Instead, what we can do is just bring it back to the midpoint by enabling this constraint to be 50%. And that's always going to find the midpoint between these two targets. But you must make sure that you get the constraints in the right order. Otherwise, it's not going to work the way that you want. And why is that? Well, that's because it's going to jump 50% this way. So I'll just do a dotted little line here. And then it's going to jump 100% over to this target here. So that's why the order of the constraints matter. So this is how easy it is. Now I'm going to issue you with a little bit of a challenge. So at the moment, this middle bone, the one that has our constraints on it, is only copying the locations. It doesn't copy the rotations or the scale. But I will let you figure it out by yourself on how to get it to copy the scales and the rotations at the same time. Good luck, but I know you can do it.